The Chicago Sky have now had their introductory press conferences with all three of their rookie draft picks. We're going to talk a little bit about those. We're also going to look at Sue Bird joining the ownership group of the Seattle Storm. We're going to get to all that and more right after this. Welcome to Chicago Sky Central, and here's your host, Hayes. What's going on, Sky fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Sky Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Sky related and WNBA related. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into the episode today, man. You guys can follow us at Chicago Sky Central. Um, but we had the introductory press conferences from Camila Cardoso, which actually was a day late after they initially announced them. I wonder if they announced it a little bit early. Angel Reese and Brenna Maxwell. And the thing that you pull out from these interviews is that these ladies, as far as Camilla Cardoso and Angel Reese, are very excited to play with each other. Cardoso even saying that uh, they just said it's a big girl job and that I have uh, to grow up a lot. Also talking about how her excitement is with playing with Angel Reese is about as how, how much they played against each other. She actually said this here. Um, it's really exciting to get to play with her. I feel like we've been playing against each other since high school and we never got a chance to play together. So I'm just really excited to go there and play with her. I think we're going to be a great duo. We are both great players. Um, I think we're going to do great things together on both ends of the floor, just as like rebounding. She's a great rebounder. I'm a great rebounder. Um, we're both great finishers around the rim, and we all can pass the ball. So I just think it's going to be amazing, though, and it's going to be really exciting to watch us play together. And you could see the excitement on her face, right? And even Don Staley commenting a little bit after Camilla's, uh, you know, introductory press conference as well, saying that they – build pros and uh yeah reproduce pros no doubt about it that's a direct quote from don staley and you can't deny that aspect of it at all don staley produces women that come into the WNBA and they're able to perform right away and so when you look at it there are 13 former gamecocks that are in WNBA training uh, camp rosters there's no other program that produced as much as that other than uconn they have 18 players so it, it, when you look at Don Staley and what she's done, Aja Wilson's come through that, Alicia Gray, Zia Cook, right? All those players coming through, Aaliyah Boston, the Rick reigning rookie of the year. And so not to say that that automatically means that Camila Cardoso is going to have this, this huge um, impact right away in the WNBA. Every player is, own, is their different beast. When you think of it, it's it's huge to have Camila Car- uh, Cardoso down there. Her her knowledge and basketball IQ that she had from the college and the collegiate program that she comes from is going to be huge. And you know, the the uh, Jeff Palagiosha, the GM, and both Teresa Weatherspoon talked about how they wanted to get women from winning programs to help build this Chicago Sky team into being a winning organization. And it seems like they're off to the right track in doing that and so especially when you have a first year head coach uh with doubt around that bringing in players that come from these type of programs that have that cachet is going to do really good for them as well and so i love the the fact of of what what you had here and camilla just reiterating you know what she feels like she can do at the WNBA level talking about her size talking about her rebound and talking about defensively right even in that clip that i played uh, talking about her and angel reese on both sides of the ball and what they're going to bring and they are going to help establish that identity with the Chicago Sky that they're trying to forge forward now with with having a a new um a new kind of regime in there a new roster in there a lot of these things so we're four days away from training camp opening and so getting these comments from Cardoso is 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 great but then we also had Angel Reese and Angel Reese who really kind of I think took more of a of a humble stance with her introductory press conference even talked about how she does she wants to make sure that nobody can take her spot. She said this here. I know it's crazy being able to see the impact. Um, as a little girl, I always looked up to so many great players in the WNBA, and now being able to see my name on the back of a jersey is amazing. And I haven't even made the team yet, obviously, but being able to just be in this moment and understanding what it means to be here because everybody doesn't get this opportunity. And like I said, like I'm not going to take this for granted. I want to come in and work hard every day and do whatever it takes. I don't want my spot taken. <laughs> and, you know, her, her – talking about it and you know even saying that in, in parts of this interview saying that you know she wants to get back to to kind of being able to do more things off ball right she told reporters i'm ready i think i've been in these moments like this before i have a great team my family's behind me and the sky have been amazing being able to understand that i'm only a rookie but uh they have a lot of expectations for me just kind of being the player i was coming out of high school i was more of a wing so being able to transfer back to that and honestly i'm a great defender and defense leads to offense I know if my offensive game isn't going, I can get going on defense. So being able to rebound, being able to guard all five positions is something I look, I really look forward to do. And that is the versatility that Angel Reese is going to have 
to bring. You guys know, and a lot of you guys disagree, but you know, I, I do have the mindset that Angel Reese may have to come off the bench to initially start, and that's not a knock on her. She's going to be there to close out. But I think, you know, especially hearing her, hear, hearing her talk about playing more on the wing, that's going to be an interesting thing for Angel Reese as she works to round out that shot, right? And especially, you know, if you're playing a big, playing the four, then, you know, you you have to, uh, you know, even the three-point shooting is kind of mitigated there. You don't have to be an amazing three-point shooter. You kind of need more of a 12 to 15 footer. But if you're going to go to being more of a wing, and if that's what the Sky have kind of sold her on their dream for is playing more on the wing, uh, that shooting and how she how quickly she's able to to round that out is going to be hugely important to her there as well. So this is this is this is a nice set up for the Chicago Sky, right? And having Angel Reese having that my mind, right mindset and coming in uh, with even her saying like that really stood out to me. And of course, it could just be words. I don't want to act like it's not. But you know, her talking about growing up watching Candace Parker, right? And uh, her being there before and being able to see her now, uh, you know, and, and the versatile player that Candace Parker is. And Candace is a is a woman who had to really work off, work around, and flesh out her game. Yeah, she was the rookie of the year and MVP right away, but she added to her game almost every year she's been in the WNBA. And her even talking about she likes watching big guards and stuff and being able to be a big guard and stretch forward, point forward. So it really seems like Angel Reese has a mindset of how she wants to wants her game to develop. And that's the best thing that you can ask for is to have that mindset on how she needs to develop her game and realize that who you come into the WNBA being, you're going to have to round that out to be able to truly be more versatile and add to this team. And the excitement that she also has to be here with the Chicago Sky is another thing, right? And not to say that she wouldn't feel that way about playing with any team in the WNBA, but it's really good to have players that, you know, want to come here, that want to play together, that understand how they're help, helping to reshape a, a franchise. And then you got Coach Witherspoon who's going to be there to help mold it all. So these introductory press conferences are really, really stood out. They were in uh, Deerfield as well. So listen, training camp's in four days. We're going to get to see a Chicago Sky basketball in just a handful of days. May 4th, I believe, is the first preseason game for the Chicago Sky. So, you know, Angel Reese coming in here, Camila Cardosa coming here, and these ladies being such big parts, the biggest parts, really, of what the Chicago Sky are going to try to do, adding that to Marina Mabry, adding that to, to Diamond to Shields, adding that to other players that we have on this on this roster that Dana Evans, who really have a lot to also prove. Uh, this is going to be a team that I hope and that I think is going to have the ability to prove a lot of the doubters wrong around them. And it's going to have to come via what they do and how they produce on the on the basketball court. But then you got a coach in Teresa Weatherspoon who's he's huge there as well. And then we also got word from Brenna Maxwell. And, you know, Brenna, as a second-round pick, we all know that WNBA rosters, one of the kind of downsides to them is how small, only 12 players on WNBA rosters. And Brenna Maxwell is a player that's going to have to make the team. I want to, I want to be clear in that. I think I said that even in my uh, video on Brenna Maxwell because I didn't want her to be kind of overlooked in, in the players that we draft there. Uh, but you look at the sky and how they do need shooting. She definitely could produce that. And Maxwell said this, my shot is pretty unique. I provide some offense that they're lacking. Everyone's fighting for a spot, and there are a lot of good players. We'll see how it shakes out. And again, much like with the other two ladies, this is the right mindset that you want a player to have here, is that coming into the WNBA, it's it's a lot different than the NBA. As far as, you know, there's, there are really no guaranteed contracts uh, for the most part, especially when you're starting out as a rookie. And a lot of yeah, hell, we we were it's it, we're not even removed from first round picks, not necessarily making their teams right. So this year, all first round picks are going to make their team. It really does feel like, and Brenda Maxwell does have a chance with the shooting, the dribbling, right, the way she's able to break down uh, players off the dribble, still be solid in the mid range as well, and her size as well. Brenda Maxwell has a definitely a good chance to make this team. And I think when you look at all three of these ladies that we've brought in, and Brenda Maxwell, Angel Reese, Carmilla Carmilla Cardoso. What they're bringing to this team are all aspects that we need, especially for a team that is definitely in a rebuilding mode, right? Like, we've jump-started our rebuild, I think, pretty damn well, and I like the balance that all these three players bring. You have Angel, you have uh, Camilla, who really bring the two-way versatility, um, but it's going to be probably defense that they really set out and make their, uh, their, their, their name known for right away is going to be that defensive aspect of the ball. And then you have Brenna Maxwell, who could be a sharpshooter off the bench you know, Jeff Pagliosha really viewed her as the best shooter in collegiate basketball last year in women's college basketball. So, you know, take for that what you will. But 
Brenda coming in here, she's going to have an opportunity as well, and she's going to have a coaching staff in a front office that brought her here with the intentions of ma- of her making the team, right? They are, they talked about it. She was somebody that they did set out. They got everybody they wanted, and you know that is something to be said. We talk a lot about last year and James Wade going out and getting his roster, getting his ladies that he wanted on this team and that he saw the vision for, much like Teresa Weatherspoon and Jeff Pagliosha now. They laid a foundation for what they feel and what they expect, and these ladies are bringing that full force as well. So love to see that from these ladies. I love to see the mindset is the biggest thing here in training camp. And unfortunately, we don't have a long training camp like in the, like in the NBA. The training camp is going to get is going to turn around pretty damn quickly. We're talking about the the sky have their first game next Saturday. That's that's seven days, no, nine days away if I can count. Right, nine days. We're talking about the Chicago Sky taking the basketball court with this new roster, and we're going to get to see what it looks like. But with that said, you guys know I like to go around the W as well. And just one news topic from around the WNBA, and I just wanted to acknowledge this for what it is. Sue Bird has now joined uh, the uh, Seattle Storm's ownership group. When you look at her 19-year career, playing all that with the Storm, Sue Bird coming in now and being a part of that ownership group is great. And she said this, As a player, I poured my heart into every game for the Seattle Storm. And now as part of the ownership group, I am thrilled to be contributing to the growth of the game. Investing in women's sports isn't just about passion, it's a smart business. It's always about recognizing the immense talent, dedication, and market potential our league has always had. Uh, Together, we're not just reshaping the future of basketball, but also paving a way for more equitable and exclusive society. So, again, this is something that Sue Bird joining an ownership group as a former player is huge. And I love to see it. And, uh, yeah, shout out to Sue Bird, who deserves everything that comes her way for the way that she's been able to sacrifice and be a big part of the reason why the WNBA was able to grow the way that it was. And as you have kind of the new generation of stars coming in, it's glad it's good to see one of the pillars of the of stardom in the WNBA as far as as big as you can get at that time uh now join an ownership group and having the, the say in molding kind of the next phase of the WNBA as well but guys that's a quick update episode guys thank you so much for tuning in make sure you guys are following the show at Chicago Sky Pod you can send us any feedback questions comments concerns uh Chicago Sky Central gmail.com and then lastly if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the mailbag we share it with Chicago Bulls Central but it's 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Sky related. And I'll see you guys the next time we go to Skytown. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Media.